Bank of America has announced a new zero down payment mortgage, which is called the Community Affordable Loan Solution. And this is for certain black and Hispanic communities and families. And this program aims to help these families and certain individuals to obtain an affordable loan so they can actually go out there and purchase a house right now because as you may already know, houses are super expensive and interest rates are also skyrocketing. So even if you could have afforded a house before, just because of the interest rates being so high, you may not be able to afford a house anymore. So in this video, I'm gonna break down all the details of this zero down payment mortgage being rolled out by Bank of America. So stick around to the end so you can get all the details. But just before I get into that, just a quick reminder, if you guys are new to the channel, or this is the first time you're coming across and seeing me, my name is Ian, and on this channel, I talk about ways to make money, ways to save money, ways to invest your money. I talk about bank accounts, credit cards, and just about everything to do with personal finance. So if you like these videos and you like these types of topics, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. It's 100% free, won't cost you anything. Also, be sure to subscribe with the notifications on. That way, you never miss the updates of when I post new videos. If you guys ever wanna to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can message me on Instagram, link is down below. But with that said, let's get back to this zero down payment mortgage being rolled out by Bank of America. Now, the first thing that I wanna cover is the fact that this zero down payment mortgage is not actually for African Americans or Hispanic and Latinos in general. It's actually, as Bank of America says, only available in designated markets, which means that it's only available to certain African American or Hispanic neighborhoods in areas such as uh, Charlotte, Dallas, Detroit, Miami, Los Angeles. And so just because you're black or African American or Hispanic or Latino, it doesn't actually qualify you and it doesn't actually mean that you are going to have access to this zero down payment mortgage. Now, another interesting thing here is that they didn't actually say it was for black or African American or Hispanic people in certain neighborhoods. They said it was for a black or African American neighborhood or Hispanic Latino neighborhoods. So what I'm getting from this is that more than likely it's not gonna be available to people of color in general, but it's going to be available to certain select communities that are made up of predominantly people of color. And most likely they're gonna be using like the census to determine what neighborhoods in these cities are actually predominantly neighborhoods with people of color. So based on that, I think that people from these communities would be eligible regardless of what race they are. Now, this is also only for first time home buyers. So that's another disqualifier there. So even if you reside in one of the select neighborhoods, but you're not a first time home buyer, then you may not be eligible for this zero down payment mortgage. And based off what I've seen in the media, it seems as if this zero down payment mortgage is like a pilot program where they're testing it out in these five markets first and then depending on how well this works out then maybe later on this may be actually available in other markets as well so we'll just have to watch and see how that goes but as of right now it's certain neighborhoods or certain black african-american or hispanic latino neighborhoods in dallas los angeles detroit miami and Charlotte. Now, a lot of people are questioning why Bank of America would be offering a zero down payment to certain black or Hispanic communities, and why not offer this to everyone? And I think the reason that they're doing these pilot programs and things like this is because big banks in general, not just Bank of America, but just in general, all big banks, have had a history of discriminatory practices against people of color or minorities. So this may be one reason of them saying, hey, you know what? we're going to create some type of program specifically for these people so that they can be eligible or they can actually afford a home. Also, recently there have been a lot of YouTubers talking about this. For example, there was this couple that got a valuation on their house because they wanted to know how much to sell the house for. And based on other houses in their neighborhood, they actually had like a general idea of how much their house was worth. But when they did that valuation, it was valid for I think around $300,000 less than what they thought that they actually could get the house sold for. And they did an experiment and they removed everything from their house that showed that they were people of color, like family photos and all that stuff. And they actually did a second evaluation and that one came in at around the price that they thought it should have. So there's that. And then also other people have come out and said, you know what, realtors have actually told them that 
if you're gonna be selling your house, you want to remove all the family photos, you wanna kinda of like remove anything from your house that would signify that the occupants or the owners of this house are either uh, people of color, brown or black people, or from some other ethnic group. And so this stuff actually happens in real life. And even for like house showings, some realtors will just tell you directly that you should remove all family photos and you should also have someone else available at the showing. And I'm not 100% sure because I don't work at Bank of America, but I think based on the history of big banks in general having certain discriminatory practices against black or brown people, then this is most likely one of the reasons why they're gonna be coming up with programs like these to offer zero down payment mortgages in certain communities to help first time home buyers and why this isn't available to just the general public. Now, I think the plan is really interesting because I bought a house around two years ago and this zero down payment mortgage is actually a bit more than just a zero down payment loan. So yes, if you are approved, you won't need any money for a down payment and also you won't need any money for closing costs and then surprisingly, you also won't need any mortgage insurance. Now this is actually a big deal because usually if there's some down payment assistance program to help get you into a house, usually you still have to pay closing costs and PMI is usually something that never goes away unless you have at least 20% equity in that property. So if you go out here and you try to buy a house for $300,000, then you may need around 18,000 or 18 to 20,000 dollars up front to take care of like a down payment, like a 3% down payment and also closing cost. And then they're going to tack on PMI on this loan or private mortgage insurance. And with this zero down payment mortgage, Bank of America is saying that they're not going to require a down payment and they're not going to require any closing costs and you will not have to pay PMI. So this is actually a really good deal for anyone who can get approved or is eligible for this zero down payment mortgage. And another great thing here is that this requires no minimum credit score. And this eligibility is based on the home location and also your income. So even if you don't have a very good credit score, you can still get approved for this. And the only thing that Bank of America said that the prospective buyers would need to do is to complete a home buyer certification course. Now, you may be wondering if they're not gonna be using my credit score, how are they actually going to be able to determine who can be eligible for this loan? Because at the end of the day, it's still a loan. And so you need to pay your mortgage. So if you wanna get approved for it, here's what they're doing instead of using your credit score. They're gonna be looking at the history of payments that you've been making. So for example, have you been paying your utility bills? If that's a yes, then that's good. Have you also been paying your rent? If that's a yes, then that's also good. So if you've been taking care of all your bills, but you've just had a really poor credit score, maybe you have some debt and your credit score is just not that very high or not the best right now, then that is not going to disqualify you from this program. Now, I just mentioned the credit score and one important thing here is your debt to income ratio because remember, this is still a loan, so you still need to be able to pay this loan back and they're going to be looking at your income. So for example, if you're trying to buy a house and you're trying to use this loan, then they're gonna be looking at your debt to income ratio and generally speaking, you're going to need around 55% or more of your income free to be able to afford it because I think usually your mortgage shouldn't be more than like 45% and I think that's pushing it off your gross income. So even though you could have a poor credit score and you could have some debt, if most of your income is going towards debt and you only have like a hundred bucks free at the end of each month, then most likely you won't be qualified for this loan. Now, as for the terms of this loan, it's gonna be a conventional loan and it's gonna be market rate interest rate. So whatever interest rates are right now, that's what you're gonna be getting. So I think interest rates right now are at around 4.5% or somewhere there. So that's what you'll be getting. But again, I think this is actually a very good opportunity for a lot of people or just about anyone who can qualify because you don't normally see no down payment mortgages and no closing costs and no PMI in the same program. So if you're in any of these five markets, Los Angeles, Miami, Detroit, Charlotte, Dallas, then I think you should apply for this community affordable loan solution because this is probably going to be one of the best opportunities that you're gonna come across if you're a first time home buyer. So all in all, I think it's a good program and if you're interested in this program and you're in one of these communities, then I would say don't wait for too long. You should make an appointment with a loan officer at Bank of America and act on this immediately or quickly because this is gonna receive a lot of interest and a lot of people are gonna be trying to 
get in for this loan. So don't waste any time and you should apply immediately if you're in one of these communities that would make you eligible for this. So with that said, let me know what your thoughts are on this community affordable loan solution from Bank of America, which offers a zero down payment uh, to certain black and Hispanic communities. Also comes with no closing costs and no PMI. If you like the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the updates of when I post new videos. All the best and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one.